Hello, this is Bill Fabian. I'm going to give you an overview of the HIC Micro M10 and M30. We have our trigger button down in our fingers. Pull this once and quick and release, and that saves an image. Squeeze and hold, that starts the video recording. Then when you're done and want to stop the recording, you just press and release the button again. On the top of the camera, this is our where our SD card and USB-C cable connect. So you open that up, you have a micro SD card that you can press down, will pop out. You can also have an USB-C connector. You can plug your cable and plug it into your computer to download image. Just make sure the cast screen is turned off. On the front end, this is our lens cap. Snap it open, flip it over on top, and then you have your germanium lens. Okay, clean that with isopropyl alcohol on a cotton swab. Your camera lamp, laser pointer, and digital camera in no particular order. So we're gonna keep that lens cap closed at all times. The focus ring is here right behind the red ring on the side. You adjust this to clear the focus, okay? And realize you're not focusing on anything visual, it's just thermal contrast between areas. You'll see it blurry, adjust it till it gets clear, keep going, and then and you'll see it get clearer again. I'm gonna move this a little bit closer so you can see my menus and buttons. You have in the upper left corner, power button. Press once to begin the to turn the camera on. You hold it down until the screen lights up. And when you're done and want to shut it off, you hold that down until the camera powers down. Below that is our laser pointer. Press that once to be, and you will see the laser pointer show up on your target. You will also see the laser pointer in the screen. Okay. In the upper right corner, this is your non uniformity correction button. If you press that once down and let go, you hear it click. That's going to perform the non uniformity correction. This is our back button. When we get into our menus and we're navigating menus and we want to go back one menu, we hit that button one time. If you hit it multiple times, it will continue to back out to a live camera view. This center button is our, it's actually a multifunction button. You have up, down, left, and right. And OK is your enter button. Or you can say, OK, that's, I'm done. All right, you press that button. Now that I'm not in any menus right now, the up button turns the camera lamp on. And if I didn't have the lens cap closed, you'd be able to see that. I'll pop it open here for a quick second. And you can see the lens cap or the uh, camera lamp is turned on. Okay. And toggle it off. The down button does your digital zoom. And you can pick between 1x, 2x, 4x and 8x. It is a digital zoom, not an optical zoom. To bring up the menus, you hit the OK button, which is the Enter button. It brings up your menus. You have your settings menus, your files, your, um, well, I'll show you. Settings gives you thermography settings, image settings, camera settings, uh, device settings, device information. There's a lot of menus in here. Um, now you can you can go in, you can change your, um, all your settings. You can cause you know, uh, your measurement parameters. I suggest you leave them at the factory defaults. Um, you can do a lot of different setting changes, time, date, switching it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Explore these menus. You can't learn these cameras until you start pushing the buttons. You also cannot hurt these cameras until you start pushing the buttons. You scroll up and down, you hit the enter button, it goes into that menu. Here we've got our unit, okay? Dis brightness display. I'll change it from uh, temperature to distance or go my temperature. Do you want um, you know, degrees Celsius, degrees Fahrenheit or Kelvin? So you can change, you can make all kinds of changes. Navigate these menus. Um, there's a lot of menus in there. No, you know, not enough time in a short video to cover all of those, but I'd be happy to help you out when you get or need uh, help. Settings, your file menu opens up saved images. 
uh, your thermal allows you to switch between thermal, fusion, where it's a blend of the infrared and visual, your picture in a picture, which gives you the infrared inset with the outer perimeter of visual, and then you have your optical or just a visual camera feed. So we'll leave this for now on thermal. Okay, we hit the return key. This next one is thermography. You can press the enter button and bring up multiple choices. No spot, which is clear. Then you got your uh, auto hot, auto cold, fixed center spot, a custom spot, a custom box, a custom line. You've got all kinds of temperature analysis capabilities. Okay, your color palettes, on, off. Um, you know, you can do your um, iron, your rainbow, rainbow high contrast. Black is cold and white's hot. White is cold and black's hot. Um, above alarms, below alarms, all different types of menus are all different types of color palettes. And then your temperature range. Temperature range and auto, it will automatically set this level and span on the right side of your screen, the upper limit and lower limit, based on the energy it sees in the field of view. Switching it to the manual adjustment and hit the enter button, now you see this up and down, okay, with okay. And then you can you can switch it. Uh, you can like if I hit the up button, they're both going up. If I hit the down button, they're both coming down. I can also do one touch adjust. So I can open up the screen and touch an area of my image, and it will auto tune the image for whatever area I touch. When you're done, go back to live view. Take it out of manual, put it in auto, and go back to live view. There's a lot of very useful features. Uh, it's extremely rugged and durable. Um, welcome the opportunity to work with further with you. If you'd like some help in, in customized training or one-on-one, -on -one, uh, give us a call. Um, thank you. This is Bill Fabian with Monroe Infrared. And call our 800 number, 800-221. 0163 if we can help you.